back. You are Templar Duke 3. We're actually really near the end of the game. I thought the game was a bit longer, actually. This might be the final episode. Maybe, hopefully. Oh. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Hey, it's nice. Good thing and a bad thing, I guess. Take the good with the bad. Actually, that's not a bad thing. It's a good game. To me, it's a good thing, though, because then I'll have to deal with less of these jump scares. God bless it. Less of these loud sounds. How do I... Oh, that's a window. Oh. Sounds, why don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're so clever. You're so smart. You are so the big cheese, aren't you? He's so cool, guys. I chose hell instead of people. Making me the coolest doctor in cool though. Why is this guy just a bucket of bones? How'd they even do this to him? Is that how long he's just been dead down here? Marked urgent priority on. Pressed security request. Immediate assistance. Multiple injury reports following the explosion. The origin weapons are from the staff. Can't read that. Weapons fire came. <laughs> uh, something heard from my staff. Still alive. This is what they call a part. Huh? Oh, come on, black load. We're not beyond Thunderdome by now. better. He hit me directly with his thunder hands. What? I know where this guy came from. So I'm going back. Look at me, in the caverns, having a blast. down there? You come up here already? Just slowly teleport over here, why don't you?
what's the point of all that teleporting if you just get shot? They don't tell you that one in Dean in school. They don't say Doomslayer's gonna be there, and he's probably just gonna shoot you as soon as you appear from your teleport. save because I haven't done a hard save in a long time. I didn't even do a hard save last time. Uh, yeah, why not? Save over the autosave, yes. Work save after getting that clip because I completely missed it. Activate the service lift, huh? Ow. Oh, good. It's sealed up. Well, he didn't make it. He had a chain gun and body armor, yet somehow something turned him into a skeleton. Wanna eat him? Nah, 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 nah. Just take the flesh away. Mysteriously. Demons? Day. Only my fingertips are getting sweaty. Hmm. Was that was that also supposed to get in here? Armor shards, med kit. Any that bad? A lot of controls. Let's see. Large artifact, bad problems, math kept on happening. Hello? Oh, that's a good sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Ooh. There's not an ammo. The boxes make the weird noises. Oh, is that how I was supposed to get in here? Is there a door downstairs? No, this was locked, yeah. Ah, uh, shipment contains various small artifacts, packages of lower level research items are packaged quickly due to the shutdown deadline. However, damage should be minimal, authorized by transfer coordinator. Dude, bro. Ah! You the guys who made the skeletons? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't go for the staircase. That would be, that would, yeah. I'm over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I spawn one by one. Why, why come? Yeah. Oh, okay. Getting ridiculous. And there's another one. That's good. at this point. No. One more? No? I switched to the SMG and everything.
Florida. They from Florida. All right. Well, that was fun. This is where I live. Apparently, is up here. That door doesn't unlock. What? Really? Lift will automatically relock in one hour. Good for me. You know what? You go out the window. Is there a secret over here? No? But I'm still not doing it, dude. Did someone put the ladder back up? And it's broken. Well, that unlocked that Service door. Service lift called to station. On there. In this narrow corridor, where the numbers map for nothing. What are we gonna do? We need to push the button. Start killing fools. Ow! Why did that hurt that Service time? Lift. What's with Call the lag load? I have to do a soft reset. do soft reset as soon as we get through this. I don't like that lag load. I'm gonna get rid of it. Just like I did last time. Anyone else? Anyone else want to be part of my service lift? this rocket launcher <laughs> what's the joke oh, I missed that well I guess I'm going in the lava then far in. Two rockets. Alright, this looks like a good spot to do a soft reset. Hold, please. Alright. 
Welcome back. Hopefully that fixed it. If not, we're just gonna have to deal with it. It's an id game. They have these problems. They have these problems, and we just sort of deal with them in the future now. Older id games. It's fine. It's still good. A tiny bit of annoyance. Really? How many bullets can you take, man? Seems like too many to me. We haven't even made it to caverns level two yet. Go ahead, teleport in front of me. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Seen it once, seen it a million times. Oh, 32 health. Oh, wow. I think I'll save that for later, to be honest with you. What? Don't just laugh. Oh, okay. Two M's? You think you're funny, man? Got two doors. One's outside. The other's locked. That room was really loud. <laughs> How do I know? And he was with the bones, of course. The hell? Guys, this remind me of political protocol. What the hell? Do I just die? That sounds wrong. Oh, that thing comes in and out. Oh, and then it goes away. That's. Oh, so this is a this is a parkour area. I see. I'm gonna hate it, aren't I? Why did it... Why did it pull me? How am I supposed to do that? Do I have to jump before it happens? Apparently, yeah. And that hurts, too. What's the point? What's the point of it hurting? Touch it, but they hurt. They hurt you. They just shove you into oblivion, right? Can I get that? 
Oh, there's a dude down there. Let's go talk to dude. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're gonna attract attention and then they'll come. Get out of here now. Take that key card. It'll help you get to the surface. You don't want to get to the surface? Yeah, he's, got, he's got a good hiding spot. That guy might actually make it. This is way down here and way sealed up. Hopefully they don't know how to use ladders. They know how to use spaceships. I'm hoping the ladder thing really escapes them. <laughs> Research whether or not demons ought to use ladders. Wait, how do I get down there? Don't tease me with BFG ammo, then I'll explain how to get it. Is there a false door? song with them. PDAs in the game. Dear Sarge, out in space, wish you were here. Dangerous conditions in the caverns. Audio report regarding dangerous working conditions in caverns below Delta. Reports that things are this weird is Bob down Cody. here. Today is October 18th, 2145. Especially with all those tremors, give me a shout. My you crew has been time. rewiring the generators as ordered for the last several days. Okay. We can't finish the work. We're stopping after today. This job ain't worth dying for. We'll be collecting our gear and tying down what we can. We call them howls because that's how they start. First the howling gets louder, the screaming, then shaking earth, uh, Mars quakes, throws everything around. Makes walking on the catwalks impossible and working with voltage stupid. The noise is if some of the guys spoke and I don't blame them. Nothing natural about what we've heard. If someone can figure out what's causing the hours, I'll get the crew to finish the job. Till then, we'll be available for a new assignment tomorrow. Don't know how to get the BFG ammo that's down there. Hmm? Something to do with this ladder, I wonder. The time to be alive. There it is. Figured it out. There's a little hatch here. Oh, my BFG ammo's full. Nice. <laughs> I'm still gonna save it though, because science. Next day, it's changed weapons. Whipped out something I don't want to whip out. If I fall down from here, am I just gonna take damage? <laughs> Not if I do it right. Expecting him nowadays. Don't blow that one up. 
an enemy shows up, I don't want them to have something to use against me. Hello? Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, okay. He still is reasonable. Oh, God. Ah, that's nice. That's lovely. That's good. That's nice. This place starts breaking. Chain guns. This deep in the core. Well, they gave me rockets, so I halfway expected them to, that I would. They thought they thought the way I would think. But he's gonna be tired of this BS. Start shooting rockets at everything. <laughs> Interesting decor for demons. Crap. Really, is me being elevated really breaking your programming that bad? Circles. <laughs> He's on a box. What do I do, boss? Ooh, that's a lot of machine gun. You were using the machine gun the whole time. This would make you happy. Oh, looks like we're taking a little tumble off the cliff then, huh? What? Oh god, there's two of them. as soon as I started climbing this ladder. safely get down from here. Why? Alright, no. I want to try to get down with some of my health. Thank you very much, Captain Kapow. I don't know what that weird sound I was making was. It's dumb. That me reacting to the steam. This 
wanted to look around. <laughs> Have a good time. Just gotta show up. Well, it's time to start touching things again. Here we go. Oh. Adding supplies in the pipes. Pipe supplies, they call them. Couldn't see them because of super darkness. You know those windows. Probably could have saw them if I had bothered to look in that corner. Okay. There's gonna be a fight in here, isn't there? Such a tiny area too. be in there. <laughs> Whatever it is. Let's talk to it. Feel glad. Oh God! That's not an explosive barrel. I knew that. We all knew that. It's fine. The elevator going down. A fuck? I forgot there's another monster way down there. Sounds like it. There gonna be a hell night on the elevator. tougher than normal. <laughs> Caverns Area 1? Oh good, getting more helly as time progresses. <laughs> you like hell? You got it. A whole bunch of it. <laughs> I'm saving it up for you. I'm 
glad the explosive barrels came back to haunt me. I didn't even know there was one back there. There we go. Chain gun up here. Alright. Say what we're gonna do. Go ahead and just get rid of those. They're not gonna help. <laughs> okay. Oh, these phones right there. Demons? No? No. Oh. Sniper, I guess. Why is it so hard to hit him? I was about to switch to the Asari, but I'm like, nah, this is getting kind of silly. It's getting a little silly over here, guys. What's that? Rare. We're here. Okay, there they are. But I know. Plenty, honestly, to work with. Just want more. More BFG ammo that I could have been using. Ah, uh, this is the end. <laughs> this is the end of Caverns One. We still got Caverns Two to go through. I don't remember if Caverns 2 was shorter or longer. It's still just as brutal, though. Wouldn't be so bad if they all weren't hiding in. You know, it's all jump scares. Rain, 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 rain. What are you doing? Let me jump out at you. Oh, good. Spider spawns. Good. How 
long dark tunnel. the cherubs though. I hear them. God bless it. Those things are a bigger death sentence to me than them. They are always hiding around the corner, waiting, watching, plotting. Go down that way. card I was looking for. Oh. Do I want to go in there and read? Do I come back here? Summoner, why did he hit the imp? <laughs> Stupid soul cube. You don't even know how to aim right, dude. Why can't more places in this world have that? Oh, it's a spider. It's walking away. Anything I care? Sounds actually creep me out for a second. Like, what the hell was that sound? This is the ancient ruins they found. Huh? Doesn't seem very stable. This looks like a place where I have to find someone. Speaking of. Yeah, get a little bit closer. Yeah. Alright, was that it? Can I talk to these, um, uh, elder creature spheres? Which. Some reason looks similar to our technology. Oh, we got two video this. And the blue and the orange pills. Hold on. 
Let's get educated. Let's see some, what's it called, lore. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Big flowers, Life on Mars the size has of long moons. been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Mm. Side 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if it's we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. What does it These mean, are Basil? truly unique and special times for archaeologists. Also smelly times, too. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest... Oh, uh, we already saw that. That's way back then. We were talking about the story of the four tablets. Okay. This is site two, huh? It keeps going. Am I supposed to go this way? Because I got the key card already. This goes deep. Am I really supposed to turn around and go back out, all, out of all of this? Come back to that door. I have a feeling I'm, I'm going, going the right way. Alright. Two shells, not one. These guys started spawning, so I assume, yeah, I am supposed to come back here. Oh, it's just a storage cabinet. Oh, screw that. Actually, the safe is bad. By the safest bed. The bounciest grenades in history. Literally bounce back out of the room you threw him in. Not gun. Big boy ammo. Hall, honestly. So I am supposed to go keep going forward, but this is a reward for coming backtracking. Bunch of bullets. Those are the biggest stacks of Asara of Eclipse I've ever seen. Could have used that upstairs during the Hell Invasion. Am I right, guys? We're all dead. What? Hear that. Ah, oh, come on. God bless it. 
punishment for going back to get that ammo. Might not be worth it to most, honestly. If I knew that that was going to happen, I probably would have left it there because my ammo was pretty full, honestly. Never been punished harder than when I went backwards and did the thing they wanted me to do. How do I get up there? Oh, that's right. Scaffolding shaped like a ladder. Is that not a flashlight? Oh, it's on the cliff. like all the seething, dude. and the cacao demon and they don't even die to one BFG round. It's like, oh my, who's the BFG for? Is it just for the end to kill the imps real fast? That's what it feels like now. I'm gonna let my stamina come back a little bit. Save. They legit punished me for turning on the lights. Kinda scared to turn these lights on now. but it took an entire clip of BFG to kill one of the Hell Knight. Are they Hell Barons? Shouldn't they look different? If they're Hell Barons, I don't know. Also, who turned off all the lights? Well, what technology we have, shouldn't these be like fusion generators? Spike balls. Hmm. 
uh, hell seeping through over here. Good. What the hell's that? Spider demon. Okay, okay, that's fair. I'm losing a lot of health to these bitches. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm supposed to soul cube the first one. Spiders at the same time. I don't know who hurt whoever made this level. I mean, they did give me the soul cube, so I guess like it's supposed to be intuitive, but. demon that's really big, maybe shoot it with the soul cube. Is she the psychic spider ladies that throw the spike balls at you? No? Oh, okay. A little bit of BFG back. That's a lot of rockets. And it's used to plasma weapons too. We're almost there. Hmm. Once again, fallaciously dark. got lights now. Oh. This is the end. We made it. About to fight him. Shouldn't be too bad. Honestly. You get a decent sized arena. Just keep moving. Keep hitting him with the soul cube. He's not as bad as other boss fights. Honestly. Because of the boss fights, they don't have a soul cube. They make sure you have full ammo as well. So you can use whatever you need to or like to use against the Emma imps. Recharge your soul cube. Look at all that SMG ammo. No wonder we got our butt kicked. Why would we leave all of this down here, man? Not a lot of armor, though. That's why they got their butt kicked down here, too. Brought all the firepower. I didn't bring any of the dudes or the armor. Power armor would have been nice. Alright. Go ahead and make a hard save. Save over my old save. Alright. That's good. That's nice. Make the weird noises towards me. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest finding. 
playing with tablets again. There's an ammo backpack there, it's the case. Well. I believe, yeah, we just go into the fight. We go out here, and then we just start fighting. Hell, what's for dinner? Did. I didn't even know this Easter egg existed. Oh. The id software. This is kind of cool. I don't think I've ever found this. Audio logs. Thanks. Oh, look at this. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. It's done, baby. Ah, oh, Tara. Boo, Tazzy. He knows. This guy knows a dude named Tazzy. Firefox. Amira. Misty and Hope. What if those were gamer tags or handles of some kind? Thanks. Done. Woo! That's kind of cool. I never found this before. Getting older made me more, just a little bit more observant than when I was younger. Are you so I see you found the brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have used a little bit more lights and a little less jump scares, but it was fun. I liked it. Came back and played it after all these years. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Thank you, thanks. MRE behind Doom 3. Stripped for him, thanks to me and my beloved twin who unfortunately had to be stripped for bare, spare parts. Oh god. Did somebody say free food? That's kind of awesome. Yeah, if there's an achievement of finding all of the, um, uh, what's it called? PDAs. Oh, here he goes. Got it. Come out between his legs. You look up. Oh! Holy crap, that guy is here. Humans lose to the The imps and the guys are spawning faster. Oh god, this place looks so cool. What's with that weird big orifice? 
What do you do up there with that? Why is it all undulating? Teamwork. Even though I'm the last one alive right now. I did it. Oh, he's useless without that leg. Cyber demon down. Those guys, if they just put a bunch of those guys, we were one. The little dro droids, the Memnites. This is Recon Zulu. We've got massive damage all over the base. This place looks like hell. I've got life signs on the bio scanner. Nice sharp. Echo One, we've got a survivor, a Marine. Corporal, you hear me? You all right? Just one? Can you hear me? Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. Prepare for medevac. Copy that. Have you located Counselor Swan? Yes, sir. He's dead. Roger, Recon One. The weirdest looking, what about Dr. the least iconic He's nowhere to be found, the, uh, sir. Dude Slayers, but still awesome. Ah, he's inside that thing. Couldn't cut it as a normal guy. I think I would have liked it if they kept the same amount of enemies. Turn the lights on. Got rid of the jump scares and played this music every single time the battle got awesome. Because I this is probably one of the best theme songs for a video game I've ever heard. But it doesn't match the video game kind of. Except for maybe the last fight. Maybe it matches the boss fights. Like all the boss fights, you get to play their song while you're doing it, it would match it. But for the rest of the game, it's all just like, ooh, ah, like jump scares and stuff. Just things jumping out at you from the darkness. And it's something you can't handle either. Unless you're me, and you run into two spider legs and they throw a bunch of rocks at you. But that's why be here nor there. You know what? I don't think this is the end of Doom 3. I don't think we've seen the last of it. Because I think I'm also going to go through, of course, the, BF, the DLC, which I forgot what it's called. <laughs> uh, I'll know, we'll know what it's called once I actually download and play. Because I have that, and I also have the BFG edition. And I don't know if I'll do one of the BFG editions, because it's the same game, but apparently watered down a bit, where the lights are on, but there's less enemies and more ammo. And it's like, Doom 3 already gets plenty of ammo, I think. Oh, oh, it just ends. I didn't realize the credits were that short. Apparently my, my epilogue about Doom 3 was longer than Doom 3's epilogue. But yeah, let's leave this here. Thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoyed Ewok Temple. That was Doom 3, one of my favorite games. Except for the jump scare parts. But everything else, I just really liked how well made it was. From getting the PDAs to unlocking the cabinets. Like, I had never played a first person shooter that did that before. Because I like, I skipped ahead. Like when I was younger, I only played racing games, and then like, 
the next one of the first one of the first shooters I played was like uh, it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't like 007 like a lot of other people. One of the first shooters I ever played was was like Frontline Fuels of War, and uh, not Frontline Fuels of War. Sorry, no, no. Uh, Medal of Honor Frontline, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Those type of first person shooters, and they had the thing with like the like that you show the past. I thought that was pretty cool. But other than that, you know, I got into Max Payne and Halo, and then eventually that led me to this game, Doom 3. I never even played Doom 1 or Doom 2. Doom 3 was actually the first Doom I ever played. So I was very surprised later on when I got older when I played the other Dooms a little bit, and like they were very retro when I was younger. I was like not into it. Then I, when I got older, I was like, eh, I'll play them a little bit. And I played other, I played other retro boomer shooters, and I was like, man, this is a stark contrast. This was all about keep on moving, keep on shooting, have fun. Not like this one. This one made you, made you poop them, <laughs> made you jump out of your seat because it's all quiet. You're like, mm -hmm, door opens, Rah! and I'm like, oh, son of a bitch, why? But anywho, we'll have more fun with it because we're gonna, we'll probably play through the DLC and the. Why not? We'll do the FG edition too. Screw the rules. No, no one cares. No one's gonna stop us. No one's gonna be like, no, don't. <laughs> Please, don't do it, ET. But I digress. I went on. I went. I went on a bit for this ending. So let's cut this off. Thank you all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you in the next game or the next DLC. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>